a lot of people are concerned about calcium. And the dairy industry would have you think that calcium is only found in dairy products. But that's not true. In fact, there are a lot of vegetarian foods that have calcium in them. And in some plants, there's more calcium in them than there is in dairy products. And a couple of those are sesame seeds and carob. These are very high in calcium. And one advantage that these have over dairy products is that they don't have the animal fat and the cholesterol that will be harmful to your body. And this recipe that I'm doing today is called a bone shake. This is one of my older recipes and it's always been one of my favorites. It was one of the primary recipes I used to help myself lose weight. And what you want to do, oh, almonds. They also have calcium and you want to put those in there. That's two and a half cups of almonds that have been soaked overnight. And then you add, this is about a cup and a half of water. And then we're going to add the carrot and the sesame seeds. That's about two tablespoons of the carob and about two, another two tablespoons of the sesame seeds. You can adjust that to your taste. If you like the carob flavor and you want it really strong in the carob, then you want to add a little more. Or if you find that you like the sesame seeds, then increase them. They are the ones that are highest in calcium. Another ingredient that we have is date sugar. This is just dried dates that have been ground up to make a sugar and these are high in minerals such as potassium and magnesium that help your body make right use of the calcium. If you have excess calcium like you would in a calcium pill, you're not going to have the balance that you need your body actually needs a variety of minerals to actually make right use of the calcium. And the date sugar is high in those minerals. So we put those in. And then we're going to put ice in it. And then as it blends, I'm going to be adding some more. delicious. Now this is great as a milkshake or you can pour it on your hot cereal in the morning and it, it keeps maybe about three days in the refrigerator if you want to use it on your cereal and you don't need much sweetening beyond that. A milk mustache.